Hi, my name's Stella, and this is Felix Family Off Grid. Today I'm going to teach you how to make yarn dolls. It's a pretty quiet day at the little house, just as you might expect after exhausting holiday shenanigans. Nick's big project was to take down the Christmas tree. He's a Christmas up, Christmas down kind of guy. And we just got started on making our cranberry applesauce from the apples we got from Aunt Dolly. Found her, Daily. Clean, huh? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Stella took a break from weaving pot holders to show you all how to make a yarn doll. So I'm going to teach you how to make a yarn doll. Please have a seat. You're going to take whichever kind of yarn and start wrapping it. You're going to start wrapping this around and around and around. And keep doing that for a while. Round, round, and round. Almost ready. And cut the string. Then you take one piece of string. And you're going to put it under there. and make a nice tight knot. And then you're gonna take this off of the book. Ah. So that's gonna be the top of the doll. You're gonna take another piece of string and I make another double knot. Looks like a beautiful head, doesn't it? And my next part is called cutting all of these loops. All of the loops. And I run my fingers through it to make sure there are no more loops. There are. I cut them. So I run through to make sure there are no more loops. And if there are, I cut them. If there aren't, this is the beginning of my doll. Now I'm going to make the arms. This is my front. Okay. And then I'd stretch them out like that. There's one of my arms. And I know they seem a little bit long, but we're gonna trim them. There's another one of my arms. Now we wanna make sure that my arms are still stretched out when I'm taking this and tying a waistband. So I did that. That looks more like a yarn doll, doesn't it? So I'm gonna go a little bit around, depending on how thick you wanna make your weights to begin. Um, as I decided, that's my front. So I'll take it back here, make myself another nice double dot. Sometimes a triple dot. There. Now it looks more like a doll, doesn't it? Now I'm going to make the hands. I decide where I want them to end. I want mine to end about right here. Take one of your hands. And you would tie it around one of the hands to make your little fingers. I'll cut end later. Then I'm gonna take another little piece of yarn and do the same thing with the other arm. And if you want to, you can make elbows too. I wanna make elbows. And that's my first elbow. Take another piece of yarn. Right. 
And you see you have all those little strings popping out of her, so we're gonna cut them. Like her neck strings need to be cut off. And her waist strings need to be cut off. Unless you wanna tie a bow there. And these need to be cut off too. Then your doll is almost done. Then the next thing you will do is you're going to put in her eyeballs. If you want her to have eyeballs. I cut two eyeball strings and tie them into place for eyeballs. Here's eyeball one. See? Pretty eyeballs, isn't it? Next up, I finished her eyes, so I'm going to make her hair. Or if you want to make her a mermaid, then you can tie pieces around there first. And then trim that before you do the hair. So I'm going to take a long, long strand, and I'm going to keep folding it. I want it about like that. Then as you see, you have your little tie there. And you're going to stick this under the tie. See? There's her hair. But then if you don't want her to have curly hair, then you would cut these ends too. And you can trim her hair and braid her hair, but... I'm getting to that part later. Now I'm going to get to trimming the dress. As you see, these are a little bit uneven, so I'm gonna cut them a bit. I think I'll cut it about right here. That's even. And now I can always trim her dress. You know, I trimmed off the ends, but I might want to, you know, trim around there like this. Like that. And look at that. There. Okay. Her dress is trimmed. Hair is made. And here is one fantastic yarn doll. Thank you. It's applesauce with cranberries in And it's so yummy! You gotta try this stuff. We made applesauce today, <laughs> and it's yummy. Good night, little house. 
I hope you'll make one of these yourself, and if you do, I'd like to see the picture. Thanks for watching.